Continuing our coverage now at seven after four people are shot in over the Rhine. Three of those four victims are kids. They're ages 10, 14 and 15. According to the Cincinnati police, the shooting happened early yesterday evening while the victims were walking down East McMicken Avenue near Lang Street along Grant Park. A man in his 20s was also shot. Police say they don't believe the man was with the group of kids when the gunfire started. The three children are recovering currently at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. The man is recovering at UC Medical Center. CPD says all of the injuries are non life threatening. So Jordan Vlines is live outside of District 1 headquarters with the latest and city leaders say they have video they're going to release to us in a matter of moments. But I mean, people are fed up with this type of violence. That's exactly it. Yeah, the police chief calling this most recent shooting unacceptable. She's also saying that these shooters or shooter will be caught and will be prosecuted. So again, if we kind of review exactly what happened, as you mentioned in the early evening hours yesterday, north of East Liberty Street, again, in OTR. So you're taking a look at just some of the footage that our crews got there. We had coverage all day long throughout the evening last night, and to kind of paint you a picture, Picture of exactly where this happened. The shooting happened right down the street from Somerset Bar, if you've ever been there, and also across from Grant Park. So here's the thing, though. With this happening in broad daylight, there were a number of witnesses who were nearby, and they were able to tell police what they saw, what they heard. Yesterday, the police chief giving a stern message after the shooting. Take a listen. We, as a, as a city, I don't care if you're law enforcement, not law enforcement, I don't care who you are, you should not tolerate this kind of behavior in our city. In broad daylight, folks, these were children walking down the street. That is unacceptable for somebody to think they could drive down the street, fire this many rounds, and just keep driving and think they're going to get away with it. They are not going to get away with this. We will work this case until we find out who's responsible and we will hold them accountable. And other city leaders also issuing a statements last night, including Cincinnati Mayor Pureval, who said, quote, senseless acts of violence will not be tolerated here in Cincinnati. Our children and our families deserve to spend their days in our community, our pools, our rec centers, and our parks without any fear. My heart is with the families of the victims and our first responders, and our full support is behind the police chief and our entire CPD team as they deliver justice, end quote. So so later on this morning, Cincinnati Mayor is expected to visit the areas nearby where that shooting took place uh, and visit those businesses in the area, including Somerset Bar, really to see how they can put a stop to this violence that we're seeing so early in the summer uh, this year, or the unofficial summer, I should say. But again, those summer months, kids are out, and now just yesterday, having three kids who are just out and about on a warm summer day in OTR being shot. For now, reporting live in of District 1, Jordan Valines, Fox 19 now. As soon as officials release the surveillance video, we're going to bring that to you here on air as well as online. Follow along with our up to the minute coverage on our website as well, fox19.com, and our free mobile news app.